Let me welcome you to the heart of the home. Wow, it's so good. It Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm here to show you the Winchester, which is this gorgeous house behind me by Davidson's Homes. So what are we here to see? We're here to see a four bedroom, three bathroom house. The approximate size of this house is 1,700 square feet. And if you're wondering about the location, we're actually northwest of Leicester, but the pricing information will be accessible via a link in our description, which will give you the up-to-date pricing information directly from Davidson's Homes. So if you are at all curious about what's going on behind these large windows and brick walls, well, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. So a quick overview about the features externally. Obviously, each house is gonna be different depending on what plot of land you buy this house type on. But you do have a little bit of a garden at the front. You have a central access to the front door and the front door has this gorgeous fan light and this porch overhang, which shelters you from the rain. I like the little Georgian touches. It's a nod to the past. And then the brick as well is such a good quality brick. The windows are large and then you've got this detailing that crosses all the way across. It's a very traditional kind of aesthetic. And so it will be perfect for someone who likes a bit of character. So let's continue the rest of the tour and I'll show you what's happening on the inside. You come inside. Right, now that we are nice and warm inside, welcome to your new build entryway hall of this house. Ah, I don't even know where to begin. The mood, the vibe is right. And might I add, the fragrances in the show home are amazing. I know you can't smell that, but just take my word for it. Let's work through what we're seeing right now. We are seeing a very tall front door nice width which is good for bringing in furniture obviously it's not a narrow door and then you've got your fan light above and did you notice if we keep just looking up look further up what do you see a fantastic chandelier and a double height entry wow what an entrance this is this place is just filled with so much light and connected to the first floor landing which we can't wait to show you later so wait and watch that because we're just going to show you what it looks like looking down from above the first room that i'm going to show you is this room double doors so maybe i should have done this imagine bringing people over and saying come inside guys this is just fantastic. Double doors. Again, it's not only dramatic to have those double doors, but it's very practical. Should you want to bring in a grand piano or large awkward pieces of furniture? That's a really, really bad joke. Anyway, so what are we looking at? We're looking at a very rectangular room. Rectangular lounges are easy to furnish and lay out. Uh, let me rephrase that. They're easy to stage and they're easy to position your furniture around. There's an obvious focal point either on this end or that end. And basically the length of it means that you can have windows either side like they've done, which floods the space in the middle with so much light. We've got the Davidson's homes kind of, kind of their kind of signature windows at the front, which is this um, almost traditional sash window look, but they're actually your modern um, thermally efficient uh, windows with a, a casement so you can open them in a hinged way. And then you've got this built-in area here, which doesn't come with the house, unfortunately, sorry, but it just gives you an idea of what you can do with this area. You can see due to the size of the room, we're actually looking at two pendant lights here, a large coffee table in the middle, radiator on that wall, and then also one on the back wall. And then you've got these double doors opening up to a paved area. And we will show you the garden. We've been so... Uh, we've been inundated with comments about gardens and people wanting to see what the gardens are like. We finally get to give you a property vlogs garden tour soon. Let's look back at the room. So as I walk back, come with me and let me take you back into the hallway. You can just see from this angle what you're looking at when you come straight through. I love the play with the different geometry. You've got a splayed wall there, an angled wall, and then you've got 
a cloak. So when you come straight into this hallway, you have an opportunity to hang your coats in and it just maximizes the space under the staircase. You can fit that out with shelving, but that's where your BT, your internet, all that stuff goes. The hallway is such a nice size. And did you notice also, it's got this luxury vinyl tiling. Again, flooring is completely up to your specification. It's up to what you want, want to do. This hallway is heated, so you're not gonna be freezing. And then you've got this room at the front. An angled entrance, you've got the signature large windows with a low sill. If you wanted, you can make this into a window seat, actually. That's really cute um, for little children to just sit and read their books there. Lovely staging, you've got this built up kind of like um, the cabinetry in this corner as well which doesn't come with the house, but it just shows you what you can do. This could be a nice study, a nice spare room for guests staying overnight, or like a little cinema room or playroom. It's completely up to you what you want to do. Next room on here is downstairs toilet. Wow, that's very big. I don't know if the camera's picking this up. How many steps? One, two, three, four, and five. Wow, it's very, very big and a nice width as well. I love the mirror, like Brian's mentioned, all the way across and you don't have to have it embedded in. This is a lot more versatile to have like a kind of a framed mirror there that you can change depending on the style. You've got your sink, your radiator, your toilet and a window bringing in lots of light and the lighting is actually mood lighting which is why it's a bit dim in there but obviously you can brighten everything up and it would look twice as big so that's the downstairs toilet i love that your staircase which we'll show you in a second but come through this door guys let me welcome you to the heart of the home wow <laughs> it's so good it just looks so good wow 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 um what am i blown away by yes the staging is absolutely fantastic Number one. Number two is the flow. So you come straight into the heart of the home and then you've got the breakfast area here and then you've got the dining and the sofa and it will all make sense why I absolutely love the flow in a second. So let me explain. Let's start from the beginning. In the morning, the family wakes up. They come downstairs for breakfast. Where they're going to go, they're going to go straight to the breakfast area right here perfect position make breakfast or dinner in the evenings in this area we've got this beautiful over ceiling kind of edge here for the breakfast area you can swap these out for stools if you want something a bit more uh, a less less fancy shall i say but again more than enough space for three or four chairs there in the kitchen we've got high gloss gray cabinets and then you can see the handles of the j pull ones let me just close this door for us the j pull handles so they're very discreet and modern very easy to operate as well and they're all on soft closers you've got storage ample storage you've got a sink here and a one and a half bowl by blank blanco and then you've got your dishwasher it's a nice layout having the sink and the dishwasher in close proximity to each other then you've got more cabinetry and again just guys it's just the same storage all the way across then you go to the cooking area you've got a five burner gas hob by aeg i love this back painted splashback so it's painted at the back of the glass in a kind of a silver um, metallic effect which i love and then the worktop is a laminate in a wood grain very nice kind of dual turn contrasting color palette going there it kind of keeps everything really interesting my eyes are like uh, it's like being at a fairground for adults isn't it it's so shiny glossy and very very modern i love these integrated appliances as well and then the fridge freezer which i always seem to have to open to prove this is a fridge and that is a freezer in a 70 30 arrangement which lines up with everything else and then underneath the actual ooh, we know what that's going to be so that's storage storage which is underneath the actual island itself and more storage here. That's fabulous. I love the way they've done the pendants as well above the dining area and it just connects you to the rest of the house. Leading off the kitchen area, you've got what is currently shown as a living snug area. So on this three-seater, 
you've got obviously space for three people, <laughs> if that wasn't obvious. Behind it, you've got the large windows as well, and you can overlook the sideway, the walkway to your garden, and I love that as well. It brings light in from all aspects. I love that window as well. It's very large, but it also lets in light into this space. There's light, there's windows on that side at the back and on the side again, which really means that you can really enjoy light in the morning and the evening as it rises and it sets. So that's great you know, window there. And you've got these slot windows that are either side of this wall. It creates a focal point, but I love that, you know, the full length nature of them is actually quite unusual. I like that as well. And it's practical because you can open it up without having to open like large bifolding doors or whatever. And then again, there's a focal point in the middle. My eyes are drawn to this area. Obviously there's a radiator here. You could put a cover over it and then have a TV on the wall. And then you can even change up the furniture so that you have like the L-shaped sofa here facing this wall. That's if you are a TV fan. You know, you don't have to have a TV in every room. So yeah, moving on, we've got a six-seater dining table here. Again, you can rotate it so it can be horizontal and have much, much, um, a much larger table. But then on this side, we've got two double, do two double doors, a pair of double doors facing the garden. And we're gonna show you the garden through the double doors we can have a property vlogs garden tour. And I want to tell you guys, we don't always get the chance to tour the garden, but Davidson's homes have been very helpful. So we have full access to so come outside. It's the first time I'm going to say, come outside. So as you come outside, you're going to have paving. That's very standard to have paving. Any additional paving, brick pavers, contrasting materials are going to be an extra upgrade, which you can speak to the developer about. So from this area, you've got like a very nice kind of cradled area here. Could be a barbecue area. Or the way they've shown it is just kind of like a little bit of a zen area where you can just enjoy, you know, the planting. And then you've got fencing all the way around. And you can see this garden is a really nice size. From this point, you can also see the door that you would access your garage on that side as well. And then you've got lawn to the rest of the garden. They've also shown in this garden, obviously planting around the whole border of the garden. And then you've got a pergola slash, is it a gazebo or a pergola? <laughs> a pergola over there to create a little focal point and things like adding extra water points or sockets you can add that them on and then security lights those are things we can all discuss with the developer again you can see your formal lounge over there let's head back inside so I can say come inside again so I hope you enjoyed that little garden tour comment below if you did so let's show you another bonus room a utility straight off the kitchen so fantastic location and then you've got space for your appliances underneath a worktop and then the boiler here which is a logic heat h18 consumer unit on that wall and a radiator to keep it nice and cozy brian come in here we didn't see this before but there's another mystery door right here and it's under the stair so i think <laughs> This is additional storage and if you have loads of paint pots, it's just a bonus, isn't it, to have the additional storage area. Um, so yeah, that is something to know is you do have low level storage in the utility. Let's go upstairs now. So let me welcome you up so you can see what I'm seeing. Isn't this just amazing? A double height space, just straight off the main entrance connects you with the rest of the house and then you have this opportunity to just admire your chandelier close up whilst also enjoying a view of the street from the front of the house now back with the tour so first room mystery door and some mystery sockets probably to switch off the chandelier and all that stuff there's a storeroom here again you know I, my recommendation is always for a light fitting in the top so it turns this dark space into a bright functional space bedroom number one is a single love the space theme you guys know what I'm like when I see staging that's amazing I can admire it but then we also have to think about what we're getting here so 
with that being said i've just noticed throughout this house is actually a more modern skirting profile i haven't talked about skirting profiles in a while but i just thought i'd point that out there's obviously no curving at the top which is very standard but again love the staging but let's think about what we've got we've got a recessed piece of wall in here which they fitted with bespoke wardrobes stunning quality wardrobes but again you can just put in your standalone wardrobes there there's space for a bed over here a single bed which i think as a child or guest grows older you can definitely make it bigger there is space to ups upscale the bed if you need to you've got your large window facing the front of the property again and a radiator that goes all the way underneath and then space here again for more storage dresses that sort of thing so the next room is here another beautiful room it is a double bedroom with two bedside tables either side um at the moment there's a lot of staging going on at the moment you can see it's an oversized bed frame so you're not squashed for space at all you've got a window a large one facing the back it's very safe even though it's a low level one because only the top half of it opens outwards so it's great for little kids as well and then the sill of the window is low so again You've got that window seat idea again happening which you don't see a lot with a lot of um, properties and then let me show you the storage capacity you've got the recessed wall again with the wardrobes going in over here let me show you on the inside that's nice isn't it okay and then also there's a dresser opposite here where you could have your tv mounted on the wall it's completely up to you but the main thing is that this room has an ensuite and a very nice sized one you've got your toilet your sink and a large shower wow look at this this is really really nice absolutely love that fully tiled in this gorgeous tiling yes guys the full height tiling is an extra there's a chrome towel rail heated towel rail behind and it's just tastefully done and imagine if you were in this room that would just be absolutely amazing. Going back to the landing, look how bright it is and look at the light shining through. I mean, you guys know I like to say that a window in a hallway is a massive bonus, but this is like a whole moment, a whole vibe, a whole, it just creates something in here. It makes it very special. I love this it's just very unique bedroom number three right is this one another spacious bed now if we are at, at all ever worried about storage capacity there's a bicycle on the wall and i'm so impressed because every element of that bike is actually sprayed matte black so again to whoever staged this home you've really outdone yourself so instead of just having a basic headboard we've got them with a bicycle and then a metal headboard this is a large double bed with two bedside tables either side if you're worried about wardrobes brian's already indicated over here we have wardrobes why, do, why am i trying to move <laughs> i'm trying to physically move the wardrobe so the sliding doors as you can see go straight into here but i just love the fact that the walls already go in so there's less pressure for you to worry about the storage because it's already factored in into the layout we've got a large window again and then the radiator again the standard fittings that you see across these davidson's homes so family bath is over here love it absolutely stunning as you can see it's fully tiled again wow incredible four piece suite which is the ultimate kind of like check box for a family bathroom you've got your uh, chrome towel rail against the wall you've got your pedestal there your pedestal and sink and then you've got your toilet you've got your window great natural light and a large bathtub with a handheld device for small children and pets you've got then a large shower in the corner and it is a large shower guys it's not squashed by any means whatsoever with a hands grower uh, shower fitting so let's come back into the hallway and again you get to kind of admire the staircase from so many different angles and i love the fact that i can just see what the kids are doing what the family's doing downstairs and whoever's arriving 
and still be upstairs because some of us are a bit lazy. <laughs> so let's come into the primary room, the primary room on this floor. And I almost feel like whispering. It's so luxurious. It is just so fancy. Um, I want to go over there and then I want to stay over here. But let's start first with this wall to wall sliding cabinet, which opens from the middle. I should have learned that by now. So it slides out like this and you have wall to wall storage his and hers hers and hers his and hers whatever there's ample space so no one should be fighting <laughs> and you can see it's been staged to give you an idea of what you can get so you can close the mirrors doors and again this is completely customizable so you don't have to have mirror doors if you don't want to you've got a large bed and can we agree this is finally a super king this is a super king how many pillows one two three four five pillows and two very wide not your standard width pillows you've got bedside tables either side love this at the foot of the bed you've definitely got over a meter's worth of width and you can definitely see that because they've put a dresser there and you've still got space i love that you can put your tv there or a big uh, piece of art or a mirror like they've done and then you've got this window again right here looking over outside and the low level sill and you can open the top of it and then the linear radiator like we've seen in all the other rooms again you've got another window facing the back garden so it's good if you're in bed you can still check up on the barbecue find out when the sausages are done and time it so that you go straight down um the ensuite leading off this room is also another fantastic ensuite I really can't fault this show home in terms of staging style layout as well. I love the fact that you've got another window again, bringing in light, toilet sink over pedestal, and then you've got your shower, contemporary shower, because it's got this modern glass screen that everyone loves because it's such a nice transition having the shower without having to kind of like pull open and close or move behind the shower doors. And then when you're in here, obviously, there's no water coming out. And then the position of the towel rail is just perfect as well for you to just grab your towel. And I think that's it, guys. So with that being said, I have loved touring this absolutely beautiful, beautiful home. The Winchester is definitely up there in terms of my favourite homes that I've seen, especially by Davidson's homes so if you've enjoyed that tour please make sure you click the subscribe button that's the only way you get notified when a new video gets pops up from us but until then we'll see you in the next video and you can click either here or here to watch one now and i'll see you then bye